What's up guys, back for another review. Today I'm doing it on a brand that I've already reviewed on uh, minimal clothing and I'm doing it on another pair of jeans today. Uh, these are the ones I got last time. I did a full review on the brand, uh, a lot of details in there, but today I'm basically just gonna be doing a comparison. Uh, if you caught the last review, these are the M1 vintage denim jeans. Uh, and they uh, they fit a little bit stiff because they are 100% cotton, but I absolutely love the distressing on them. Uh, and I went into a lot more detail in the other video, and you can catch that. Uh, but today what I got is I got another pair of jeans from them, okay? It's black, it's an M1 uh, denim, but it's the stretch denim. So it's 98% cotton and it's 2% spandex. So the fit is hopefully gonna be a little bit different. Uh, these ones, I got in a size 31, right? And with the stretch, uh, I went with a 30. So, and I'm about 6'1", uh, anywhere between like 160 to 165 pounds. And these ones at 31 uh, waist fit really well. Uh, so I'm curious to see if these fit a little bit tight or if you know, the, the stretch helps out with that. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and open these up. Super excited. Uh, everyone that's been following me knows my channel is all about first impressions. So I will be giving you my first impression on what I think about these jeans out of the package. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and like try them on and, and sort of see how they feel as well because uh, the real thing is the comparison. But anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. <music> So like I had said in my other video, uh, they basically just come in a plastic baggie, which is fine. And then, let's see, open them up. Get all this stuff out of the way. I mentioned this in the other video, come with a little bit extra hardware, which I think is really cool. And then, all right. So something, that I noticed right off the bat, uh, the distressing is different on these. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just a blown out hole right there. With these ones, you got these little uh, denim pieces, you know, sort of falling around. Uh, yeah, the, the distressing is, is not as good on these, and I don't know if it's because it's a stretch denim, uh, or if that's just what they decided to go with. These, honestly, still feel pretty stiff. Uh, it's going to be hard to tell until I actually put them on, but uh, so far, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not super impressed because I've, you know, I've gotten a lot of, uh, you know, black jeans before with the blown out holes. These basically look the same as, as any other one. So uh, let's go ahead and try it on. Maybe the fit, uh, you know, maybe the style once it's on is going to be a little more impressive, but uh, so far, I, I definitely recommend uh, just going with the denim or the stretch denim because these, these look sort of basic to me. But anyways, let's go. Let's try them on and see what we think. All right, so got these on. Uh, one thing I noticed instantly as I was putting these on is uh, the stretch denim is 100% more comfortable than the 100% cotton. Uh, you know, that's sort of what I was expecting and that's why I went ahead and tried the stretch denim. But when I pulled it out of the bag, I didn't know it because it sort of felt the same. But like I said, as you put it on, you definitely feel it uh, a lot easier to move around in. Uh, just a, a lot more comfortable in general. But I feel like I sort of compromised a little bit because, uh, you know, I still love the style on these. I think the blown out knees look great and, and the zippers on the side, I definitely love but I feel like the distressing on them is not uh, not as nice as like on the M1 vintage denim. So I feel like it's a little bit of a trade-off. Uh, that's your guys' call to make. Uh, also, in these, I got a 30 instead of a 31. Definitely recommend that. The 31 definitely would have been too big on these. So uh, whether you get the stretch denim or you get the just normal denim, uh, you got to sort of, you know, uh, change your size and then uh, figure out if you want something that's uh, got more distress in or something that's just going to be more comfortable for you. But overall, I got to give these uh, four out of five stars. I still really like the style. Uh, I like the fit a lot more than the other jeans, but I feel like it lacks, uh, you know, with the, the distress and that, that's the one thing I'm sort of missing on this. And if you check out their website, you'll see in the picture the jeans look exactly like this. So I don't know why I was expecting them to uh, be different, 
but it would be nice if Minimal could come out with a stretch denim that's got the distressing like the regular denim. But uh, for now, I'll sort of just have to trade off and, uh, you know, depending on what I'm doing for the day or how long I'm going to wear them, it probably depends on which jeans I'm going to pick out. But anyways, go check out Minimal. I uh, mean, definitely like and subscribe.